Driven by vengeance over the death of his father, Black Manta dives into the world of Injustice as a ruthless underwater mercenary, the latest addition to the game's roster. Utilising multiple forms of weaponry and a powerful diving suit to control space, take flight, and lay the pressure on thick against anyone going up against it. Let's take a look at a few tips and tricks to get you started. What do you want from me? I'm the predator. You're the prey. 123 has fast startup, easily hit confirmable, and can be cancelled into a number of safe options, on top of the string itself also being safe on block. It can end in 1232, which is a surprise low and is once again safe on block. Back 11 up 3 is a fast, meatless combo starter. You can either cancel it into air specials or link it into other normals, which has a stricter timing. Although back 11 up 3 is unsafe, you can end the string with down 2 to input back 11 up 3 down 2 instead, safer on block with generous pushback. Back 1-2 is a great combo ender, as it grants a hard knockdown. 2-1-3 starts off a mid, and has decent chip damage and meter build. The 3 input cannot be special cancelled, so 2-1 is likely to be used more due to the chip specials that we'll get into later. 2-down-3 is a high damaging combo starter, as it links into meter burn torpedo for big damage. The down 3 input also strikes as a low. Back 2-2 is a low starting hit confirmable combo starter that links into both flight and meter burn torpedo. 3-3 is another decent combo ender, although not a hard knockdown exactly, it grants a splat situation regardless. Finally, forward 2-1-3 is an advancing mid that ends in overhead, once again safe on block, and the forward 2-1 can be hit confirmed into special. Should I summon the shark? Choke on a harpoon! Manta Rays, back forward 1, is great both on block and hit. Unsafe meatlessly, but only minus 2 when you meter burn at the end, on top of the meter burn going full screen. It's fantastic to use on block as it grants massive chip damage. And meatlessly on hit leaves you at plus 2. This is both a good poke at mid range and effective after any string. Shark Attack. Back forward 2 is a straight charge that can be used grounded and airborne. Meter burn for extra damage or end a combo with it. Shark attack is Black Manta's only wake up attack. Torpedo cannon, down back 2, fires a semi tracking missile that explodes after a short time. Can be used in combos after jump ins or after specific strings to allow pressure situations. Meter burn will launch the opponent for a full combo as well as the second torpedo tracking at further distances. This move can also be performed whilst airborne. Down forward 3 is Manta's Rising Tide, a full screen teleport that launches the opponent on meter burn. Great for going under projectiles and is another one of Manta's many ways to extend a juggle. Finally, down back 3 is a harpoon. Grounded goes straight forward and repositions on hit, and airborne will pull the opponent closer to you. Meter burn for extra damage once more, and the air harpoon has a closer option if you hold down whilst performing it. I would rather die than surrender. Black Manta's suit allows him to hover into the air as his character power. All of your air normals and specials are available in this state, and you have a few options whilst in this position. Extend combos with float by either using jump 2 into torpedo or strings such as back 1 1 up 3 into float, which allows for a jump in into a float cancel. On the subject of the float cancel, your stance change button after a special or normal causes Manta to fall faster than normal. This means you can continue either pressure or combos depending on your situation. Normals and specials will all cost a chunk of character power, so it can't be used forever. However, use this meter wisely and you can extend juggles for quite a while. One thing to note, float requires a lot of execution. Training mode time and muscle memory are both mandatory here. You can't beat an Atlantean. A fool like you can't stop me. Chip damage plays a big part in playing Black Manta. Strings into back forward 1 doing so much chip and meter build means that anything on block becomes a threat so long as you have meter. 
keep a bar at all times to enforce that threat, and the opponent has to respect a lot more. Jump 3 is your best friend. With great range, you can actually buffer all of your air specials after it at certain ranges, basically turning the jump 3 into a high damage poke at ranges the opponent is likely to move into it by attacking. Jump 3 is also the most efficient air normal to attack with after floating from a block string. It's hard to stuff, and if you instantly cancel the jump 3 with stance change, you can even be plus in certain scenarios. For example, poke with forward 2-1 float into an instant jump 3, and then cancel the float for a decent string. Different strings launch off different moves depending on the startup. 1-2-3 and forward 2-1 will both combo into meter burn teleport. Back 2-2, two, two, standing 3, and 2 down 3 will combo into meter burn torpedo. And back 1-1 one, one, up 3 can combo meterlessly with either float or strictly timed down 2. Know your launch options off each of these strings, and his combos will start to make a lot more sense to you. Whilst torpedo hits as a high, you can still create pressure situations with it. Anything that has an overhead threat can be cancelled into torpedo just before the overhead connects as the opponent will be expecting the overhead, and stand up into the torpedo. Don't go for this too much, as one hit will send the torpedo flying in the wrong direction. Hitboxes play a big part in learning Black Manta. Float combos work on every character, but against smaller hitboxes, it's definitely harder to pull off. Against smaller characters, make sure that your execution is on point, or simply go for a torpedo off a lot more of the simpler juggles. Whilst definitely not a simple character, Black Manta is a lot of fun to learn and execute with. He has a lot of creative freedom for more creative players, but has a dangerous chip damage game from a lot of his safe strings. Master his float to become an even greater threat, and get your execution down to take this deep sea mercenary to the next level. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you Black next time. Manta wins.